I'm so excited. I'm finally sitting down to do this video. I've had some of this stuff for like two weeks now and it's time to start using it, especially my candles. But you know, you just got busy. Let's start with the beauty supply store. I got some extra large flexi rods, um, 12 length, 14 pieces. This is 10 length, three pieces. So the 12 is green and the 10 is blue. This wig is 28 inches, I believe. So we need the extra long ones for this wig. I'll curl this later in the week and show y'all the results. Honestly, probably the week after next. I got two candles from Bath and Body Works um, during their semi-annual sale. Things were 50 to 75% off. I got the Pink Lavender Espresso and Sun Drenched Linen. These are their bigger candles, the three wick candles. I cannot wait to burn these. I don't know which one I'm gonna do first, hold on. Mm, that smells so good. I'm gonna use one of them for my bathroom when I'm, um, when I'm taking baths. This will be, this will go in the kitchen and pink lavender espresso will go in my bathroom. Now I alternate between the Bath and Body Works wall scents and the Febreze wall scents. Sometimes I use these. I'm waiting for this one to be done. It's almost finished. And then I'm gonna, or maybe I'll put this in the bathroom and put my wall scent in like the living room kitchen area. That's what I Okay, Ulta. With my Clinique stuff, y'all know if you've been following me for a while, you know that I use the Purple Clinique face wash. It's foamy, it feels so good. Been using this mm, probably for like five or six years. This is the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is the white one. Now, I have tried the charcoal one before. It's all gone, but I was saving the jar until I did this video. So between, this is my, my travel size one. I got the travel size in this one just to try it. So between these two, the charcoal is okay, but it has like the same consistency as this one. So if I had to choose, I would still go with the original one, with the original balm. So for travel, I just put a little bit of this one into there. I picked up another 100 hour moisture surge. Um, the 100 hour one is a little more of like a jelly consistency and the 72 hour feels a little more like lotion. So this is the 100. I was going to get the SPF one this time, but I don't know, maybe I'll try it next time. I wanted to stick to this one. And then this is the little version. This needs to be refilled. This is my travel one. So moisturizer and take the day off bomb. Moving to my setting spray, I forgot. So my favorite setting spray right now is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Now I forgot that I picked up a replacement like a month ago. So when I was in Ulta last week, I said, you know what, I'm gonna try a new setting spray. I've used Benefit Professional, I like that one. Um, this is the all nighter from Urban Decay. This is okay, I've had this for a while now. It might be time to toss this one. I use this like in between setting sprays or emergencies when I can't find the one that I need. Um, but this one is not my favorite. I know a lot of people use this one and they also have the vitamin C one. It's a yellow bottle with purple writing. Um, but this time I wanted to try the MAC Fix Stay over, alcohol free. Is this alcohol free too? I have to look at these. Uh, I'm not sure if Charlotte is alcohol free, but this is the, the Mac Fix It. Mac Fix Plus. Mm. Running low on my color corrector, so I picked up another one. This is LA Girl. I don't mind using this color corrector. I haven't tried another brand yet, so I'm sticking to this one for now. 
trying the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Walnut. It's medium dark 2.6. So if you have a similar complexion to me, I recommend, well, I'm gonna try it on and then let you know if I recommend it. Uh, they have minis, so you don't have to invest in the big bottle. You just try the mini first. Um, you all know that my normal concealer is the 47S Tan Deep Sand from Tarte. But giving NARS a try, I'm slowly building my NARS collection. I'm starting with the concealer. I already have my foundation colors, the bronzer color. I already have, well, I know which ones I need to get in those. I don't already have them though. But I do have the blush palette. I love this palette. This is Orgasm. This is one of their most popular ones. And this is um, Orgasm X, Swinger, and Orgasm Rush are the other ones. Yana, I got some cream lip gloss um, from Fenty. This is Fruit Snacks. Now she has the cream and the heat. Let me find the heat real quick. I used to work at Ulta and we got like free stuff a lot, but when we got something from there, we had to put this green marker on it. So I can't see the name. So I'm Googling um, the cream colors really quick. So I don't say the wrong name. I know it's like, waffle cone or something cookie jar so cream cookie jar and heat this is fussy so the cream is just you know goes on let me see if y'all can see it on my hand honestly um cookie jar is not one of my favorites when i put it on it's just like a little i can't explain it and then fussy with the heat ones um they're lip plumpers so you put it on and um your lips can get a little tingly make sure that you're not allergic um yeah i actually have on heat now so the new one that we're adding to the collection is fruit snacks so i put a little bit of this on over the heat that i have on Um, the reds that I currently have, um, I have like a lip red pencil-y kind of thing from NARS. And from my MAC lipsticks, I have Diva MAC Red, Viva Glam 2 from Rihanna's collection, and Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo is one of my favorites. I rarely wear a MAC Red. I just feel like there's a very specific look that you need to master for a red like mac red also I have to make sure that you know your grill is nice and, you know it's good back to clinique really quick just like for the whole set oh yeah and i also got i picked up some more makeup wipes these are my favorite makeup wipes oh hold on so i've been meaning to tell y'all about the fragrance free makeup remover wipes or i meant to tell y'all how i felt about them uh, they're not my favorite. I like the, I, I like the regular ones. Um, I like to keep these handy. I can just like throw one in my purse. They're easy to travel with, but these are equally easy to travel with. These just, I feel like these get the makeup off quicker and I can use one wipe with these, the front and back of one wipe if it's a regular makeup day. If it's a heavy makeup day, I still might need two, but these I feel like I need two regardless. Even Like if I use these tonight, right now I have on foundation, powder, and blush, um, three things. And I would probably still want two of these or feel like I need. Anyway, so my makeup removal routine, first my makeup wipes. Um, if I have eye makeup, I use my uh, Take the Day Off for lids, lashes, and lips. I just wanted to give y'all the exact name of it. And then I use my cleansing balm. 
wash my face with um, my foam cleanser and with my moisturizer and sometimes I use my mask. Things I would and would not purchase again. This is very important to me because sometimes like people will get a product and give an honest review but you haven't used it consistently to know if you really like it or not. So these are items that I've been using for a long time if y'all know you know. Um, I'm starting with the Body Shops Body Butter. This is Vanilla Pumpkin. This is back from like, it's been a while, but it's taken me a while to do this video. So this is completely empty. Um, again, I use the whole thing before I did my review. And then this is the one that I'm currently using. This is almond milk. This is a regular for me. Vanilla pumpkin is seasonal. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. I like to give the exact name, but you know, Charlotte Tilbury Powder Girl. I have used the whole thing. I am on my third one now. It's gone, it's cracked up. I can finally recycle this. This is the new one. And if you are similar to my complexion, this is 310. Um, their powders go one through four. For Charlotte Tilbury, again, this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. This is completely empty. And this is my new one. Yes, it's actually in the box. Mucerin. I had some really bad sunburn when I returned um, from St. Martin. Like sunburn up here, just my whole top half, it was it was really bad. So I mixed Eucerin with aloe vera gel, like straight out of the plant. And things were starting to clear up two or three days. Um, I noticed a difference, I felt a difference. I saw a difference, so I will be purchasing Eucerin again, not just for sunburn, because hopefully I don't get it again. I will not get it again, but I like it as a as a moisturizer. It's a little, the consistency is a little thinner than my butter. Butters are my favorite. I like to mix butter with almond oil. This is a Dr. Teal, Teal's bottle, but there's almond oil in there. I like to use the pump too. This is the actual almond oil. So this is how I moisturize after. Things I probably will not buy again. I have two things on the lid. Well, three things, two, I don't know. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I feel like I've graduated past the All Nighters. Um, I, again, I like the Benefit Professional. Uh, this is my favorite, Charlotte Tilbury Benefit Professional, and I'll let y'all know how I feel about the Max Fix Plus. We will not be purchasing any more of the Chanel powder. Um, I'm in the color um, beige, I guess. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, it's just kind of like kind of hard. So I purchased this November of 2022, and I used it January of 2023. Um, and it just wasn't my favorite. It it does have like a nice like smooth look, but um, yeah, probably will not get this one. Last on the list is the Clinique Take the Day Off Charcoal. This one I will not be getting again. I'm going to stick to my original take the day off the Whew, all right. I can finally burn my candles.